In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Simi Shinu of the Chicago Bulls in this year's NBA Summer League. The reason why I'm breaking him down is because he's a player that I used to teach at the YMCA when I first started working out as a basketball trainer. So let's get down. Let's check out Simi Shinu. Remember, go check out all of the links of the equipment that I use down in the description below. So something that Simi Shidu is extremely good at is with using his footwork around the basket. Here is an absolutely fantastic move that we're going to break down. Of course, it did go in. Okay, so when he receives this ball, he takes a quick dribble towards that baseline. Of course, he wants to make body contact with this move, and he wants to spin off of that defender. Next, after he takes that spin move dribble, he then gathers that ball on his right foot and lands left right. This is actually very important. If he landed both feet at the same time, that would mean that he would be going straight up into the air and getting blocked. However, here he went left right, which is extremely important because that allows him to create that distance between him and himself and his defender so that he can score on that left side. Something I have been really impressed with is his ability to use that screen and roll and be that screening player who then attacks the rim. Now, of course, this pass is a G League pass and it did go well past his outstretched hand, but he was able to recover, take a hard dribble, body contact into that defender, create that space, and then he was able to go up with the basket. You are allowed to do this in basketball. You can use your butt. And here, it's even better because he was able to lift that player up because of his butt, and then he was able to then move that player by doing so. If he just pushed on the player, that would have been a lot harder of a player to move. However, by using his foot and lifting that player up into the air slightly, he was able to then create that distance or at least that room to be able to get that shot off. Now, something that a lot of teams really sleep on is his defensive ability, his ability to get those steals, especially especially off of sideline inbounds. He's always been able to do this, and he was able to finish here on the other end of the court. Of course, this is a G League game from last year. In fact, this was a G League game where he scored 26 points. Now, I still remember Simi Shudu being one of the top players coming from Canada, and he just didn't play very good in college. However, here he's able to come off that screen once again. Nice landing. Here he was able to scan the defenders to see what's happening when he was catching that ball. He was able to look and that way he knows that defender is coming and he's able to then land on both feet and then continue over towards that right side of the rim. That's a very high level move. I really like that move. Simi's screening ability and court vision is extremely amazing. As we can see here, he did a brush screen it wasn't a full screen and he's able to then finish with the dunk now what this all started with was the brush screen he was able to then notice that his defender was no longer paying attention to him he rim run which is what you need to do as a player if you're setting a screen and you notice when you look and you turn that your defender is no longer guarding you and he is hedging on that player and the main defender that you just screened is no longer staying with you, rim run the whole time, rim run because you are going to be able to finish strong every single time. Now this defense to offense mindset is extremely important in my mind. So what we have here is his ability to go and contest that shot. He is watching that ball. He wants to see where that ball is going to go. At this time that ball is going out to Towards that right side he notices that there's no defenders there or offensive players there that means that his teammates going to get that ball he then rim runs his teammate then notices that and Simi Shidu is able to finish with a dunk on the other end I've always looked at Simi as being a Canadian LeBron James I don't know why that is but he just seems like that to me and with the NBA really using a lot of screens these days, it's really confused me how he hasn't really made a roster spot in the NBA. Here, he's rim running once again. He's able to get that contested dunk. This is a very strong player in the screen and roll. I really also like his ability to get the defender, in this case, number 35, up into the air when he's in the post. And he really does excel by getting that left elbow out, the elbow that's closest towards the rim, that he's able to make those shots this is what makes a very good player in my mind his touch around the basket even after screen and rolls is extremely high level like watch this basket here his soft touch around the basket with his ability for the screen and roll he needs to be making an NBA roster someday 
Now that's my take on Simi Shidu. Obviously, I am going to be really impartial towards him, mainly because I did teach him for a bit when I was at the YMCA, when I used to teach basketball there, way back when I was starting off as a basketball trainer. So he is a very good player. Simi, if you're watching this video, good luck in the Summer League. I hope that you make the Chicago Bulls or really anyone's roster. I don't know why they haven't had you on the main roster as of yet, at least as a sixth or seventh man. I think that you could make a huge impact in the NBA. Anyways, I'll see everyone else later. Enjoy today's video. I hope that you did.